Welcome to this week's video on Delhi Sustainable Farms. We're going to show you in this video how we put up our high tensile electric fence. We prefer the high tensile electric fence because it's a lot cheaper to put in and the animals respect the electrified wires a lot more than they do the barbed wire. And if a tree falls on it, we just cut the tree off of it and it pops back up. We'll show you that in a later video, how that works. In this particular, you saw in an earlier video, we were driving these posts. And now I'm adding the horizontal brace post, which is this. I will install these clips for the wire at 16 inches. 26, 36, and 46. That's high enough for our animals. The bottom wire will be a ground wire only, and the three upper ones will be energized. Here is the brace post before it has been welded up. See how it fits nicely. Here is the welder that we use. It also serves as a generator for our house. You can see the ground wire is clamped to the top of the post, and then he, my father has the lead in his hand and is going to start welding up that brace post. He does half of it at a time, that way it doesn't get too hot and starts to burn holes through the metal. Here is half of it welded up onto the post itself. Now he's gone to the opposite side of the brace and is welding it to the post as well. He does one side first and then switches over to the other side. He welds completely all the way around so no water can get into that pipe and rust. He has finished welding the brace in and now he's moved to welding the clips on which hold the wire at the specific height it's supposed to be. So he does, he just works his way down the post from top to bottom with those clips. Now he's going to weld the cap onto the pipe. This prevents any water from going down into the pipe and filling it up which would create rust and would decrease the longevity of the metal pipes. These caps are specifically made for the three inch pipes that we do have so they weld on very easily and have a nice fit. So here is the finished product when he is done welding. You can see how that cap fits on there very nicely. You can see the clips then as well right below it at 16 inches, 26, 36, and 46. You can see that the brace is welded in there and this clamp or clip on the outside of the post is meant to hold the brace wires up, which we will show you in a second. So that kind of keeps the wires up where they're supposed to be on the post. So you can see all the clips going down the post, which are put on both ends of the brace. And then over to the other post where you can see it's finished as well. Lee thinks he's a professional welder and prides himself in his welding job that he usually performs on anything on the farm. And these fence posts are no exception. And here is a look at the posts going through this area. There was that ditch right there in the middle that you can see, so we had to put two posts down into it to kind of keep that wire down in. A regular fence post wouldn't necessarily keep the wires down and could potentially pull the posts up. So we have braces on top and on bottom of that ditch. And these are some of the wooden posts that we had taken out of this fence. You can see they are completely hollow in the bottom and they're completely hollow at the top too. It's hard to get that good of a picture. But these wooden posts decrease longevity of your fence, which is why we have switched to metal posts to hopefully last longer than these wooden posts would have done. The next part uh, with the brace posts, now that they've been welded up, is to put the brace wire on um, the posts. And for this, uh, we'll show you the process of doing it but it kind of pulls and links the entire brace post together. So the farthest one is the base, 
So we will put the wire kind of in a slanted direction. That way the farther post has a more secure spot um, to the base of the base. So we'll kind of show you the process of getting the wire on. And we go around these posts three times with the wire. That way we know if there's enough strength in the wire. So we make like a figure eight pattern around the post and the brake. That way it keeps the center of the wire closer together. And so when you put the, the, in, the electrified wires up, it's kind of shrunk into the middle and away from where those wires would be. So now he's putting on a ratchet. That way you can tighten up the brace, brace wire. Uh, so we'll show you that next. This tool has holes in it that fits the different wires and that allows us to make a nice clean bend that will not come undone. I wrap it around the wire four times and then the friction of the wire holds it. And lastly, while he finishes working on that, we have these insulators on this piece of wire. We will do kind of the same process, wrapping it around the post, going through the eyes that have been welded on, um, and wrapping the end wire over the top of it. This will serve as the um, end point to the wires as they're going up. So the wire will stop here at the insulator. As I tighten this ratchet, you can see this is tight. These are loose because they're all wrapped around the post. So as I tighten it, I'm going to take the slack out of each run and then tighten it again until they're all the same tightness. We'll start seeing the post pull back this way. And that's what we want because the fence is going to be pulling this way. this week's video on how we put together the brace posts which is pretty much the solid points of any fence so you saw us weld in the brace weld on the tabs that hold the wires at the right height and then put the brace wire in um, so all of this then will go together and then one of the next videos will show you actually putting up the wire that's a pretty large task in and of itself so um, that's going to be this week's video make sure you hit that like button below if you like the content from this and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our future videos if you have any questions about what we showed in this video be sure to comment those below and we'll get back to you we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again next week